this magnificent succulent is called Orchilacaria afra, or commonly known as the elephant plant or speckworm. And uh, it's called the elephant plant because elephants love this good source of nutrients for them and moisture. And some of the larger antelopes also uh, feed off this. It's obviously native to South Africa. That's why the elephants get involved with it. Um, but this is, it grows virtually anywhere. It grows with high rainfall, low rainfall, any type of soil. It's a very hardy plant. And the interesting thing about this plant is that um, unlike most plants which only capture carbon during the day when they're photosynthesizing, this plant under certain conditions can also capture carbon at night. So it uh, is very, very efficient at capturing carbon. And that's what's interesting a lot of people in the world because um, this could become something to reduce carbon footprints. So um, another thing is that it doesn't burn. It's, it's got a lot of moisture in it and uh, it will be fantastic for a fire break. So if you wanted to put a fire break in a forest and plant this in between, uh, it would do very well and it, uh, it would capture carbon as well as uh, work as a fire break. So that's another good use for it. Now, um, as I said, the elephants and the antelope feed off this and I was, you can also, as a human being, eat it. I'm just going to take one leaf, stick it in my mouth. It's quite tart, it's got a bit of a, a lemony flavour. Go quite well in a salad, gives the salad a bit of a spark. And it's not fibrous or anything like that very easy to chew and digest. Now the other thing I wanted to do was just show you how to propagate these because this is becoming uh, a plant that's spreading all over the world so propagation becomes important. Now the usual mm -hmm. way to propagate and this is what the elephants do they go messing up the plant and then they drop pieces on the ground and those grow into new plants but if we wanted to reproduce or propagate them on a commercial scale we need something a bit more efficient than that so um, there's various ways you can propagate them but I also want to experiment with a couple of ways so I'll show you the ways that we normally propagate them and then uh, we can also uh, I'll also start the experiment that I'm gonna try with just minimal pieces of the plant and see if it'll propagate like a lot of the other succulents so I'll just show you what we do first of all. The ideal, the ideal is to, you see how it, it spreads by running. And then if you get one of these runners and you pull it, you can see there's a beautiful bunch of roots there. So now I can take this and I can clip it there. 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 And all of these I can just put in a pot with some soil, get them going, or I could just stick them in the ground. They're very, very hardy and they'll get going on their own. Um, if you just have a look over there, there's one that I struck about two months ago and it's going really well, a lot of new growth and uh, it's had minimal attention. So that's the best way and the easiest way. Then you can also, if you just get a piece of stem, like that, uh, nip a few leaves off because the roots will grow from those nodes where the leaves came off. So you'll need to put it into the soil with a couple of leaf nodes below the soil so that the roots can grow from there. So that's the other common way of doing it. Now what I'm going to try is just to break off some leaves at the stem like that and I'm going to try just placing them on a potting mixture like that and see if they'll send roots down and then I'll also get some where I trim a little piece off um, I'm just trying to find one now here we are you can see these little pieces here I've got a tiny little stem I want to see if if I just nipped it off there if I could get that to strike so I'm going to run a experiment with those over the next few weeks or months and then I'll 
in another video I'll show you the results of that. So if you found this video useful please like and share it and subscribe to this channel and if you click the bell next to the subscribe button you'll get a notification of when a new video comes out. So thanks for watching.